Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. If you've already subscribed to our channel, thank you very much. If you haven't, please do. And remember to tap on the little button for the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we put up a new video. Um, in case anyone's wondering, I'm still here, okay? And it's been cold. As you can see, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I feel pretty good now. I really do. This is nice and warm. This is this really, really neat jacket my sister gave me years ago. Except it didn't have all of Sonia's hair on it then. But anyway, it has it all now. And, and if the hat looks stupid, hey, it doesn't look good from the inside either. It's just the way it is because it's cold. And you can probably hear the propane heater over there telling me that I'm not really as cold as I think I am. Which is true. I'm, I'm doing good. Anyway, let's see. You know, on our last video, or for a while now, it's like I've been trying to get my knuckle going. And I have gotten it going. And then I'll find a leak here or there and go back and address it. And at this point, I think I've got it pretty well sealed up. But it's been weeks and weeks since I've actually run it. So what I want to do now is pull the battery out, put it on the charger... Let it get nice and warmed up and happy again. So, you know, I, I, I take credit for some of the things I've done to this bike, but not all of them because I didn't build it in the first place. This was built back in the 60s, and it's been a show bike all its life. I changed a few things in it to make it more, well, I guess they bring it up to date, like a 12-volt system and a, Primo belt drive primary and, you know, a few little goodies like that that help it along a little. And I've had a few different cams in it and stuff like that. It's a, it's a serious contender. This thing really runs well. But right now what I need to do is charge the battery. Now, when I first got this bike and, and started riding it, this, this is a seat that was on it. This is a Bates Solo. And it's your classic old bait solo back from back in the day. You can see my butt's been wearing upholstery on it a little thin. Every once in a while I get out here with some black dye and touch it up a little. But what I had to do, let's see, the way this thing was originally fitted, let me see what they did. They had the two little posts for the springs. And of course, I've tried probably a half a dozen different springs till I landed on these. Not because they're the most comfortable, but I think they look cool because I've got this curve in here to be constant. And, and I sit right about in here and it pads me pretty well. I don't have much of a butt. But anyway, that's how that works. And the seat was never attached in the front. It had a little post that it still has. Here, we can lift it up. It's on an aluminum post, and it goes into the frame there, just like the stock Pogo did originally. So what I did is I put a bolt where the uh, Zerk fitting, the old original grease fitting, went for the, uh, for the standard post. And I put a bolt in there and put it into here. You see, I tried a couple of different positions before I got happy. But there it is. And when I put it in, because what happened, it was fine, just dropped in there. Except when this bike was built, it was just built to show. Nobody was going to ride it. So it just slid in there. I'd go over a bump and the whole thing would... Anyway, so that's why I put a bolt in it. Okay, what I really want to do is just charge this battery up. And I think, I think I've actually showed this before. It's been quite a while. But I wanted it to look just like it did originally. This is a stock battery cover. And a buddy of mine even gave me stock battery bolts here for it. But the way it looks right now is it looks like there's an original 6-volt battery in there. 
which is what I wanted it to look like. And then I've had different kinds of batteries over the years in it, but it's always looked just like this on top as long as I've had it. Get the cover off. I've got the ground cable disconnected before I did any of this. Got the ground cable disconnected before I did any of this. Don't need to make sparks and ruin anything. And as you can see, I have what looks like a nice stock battery in there. So I'm going to take the uh, wires loose from the, uh, from the positive side of this thing. Because now that I have a 12 volt system, it is negative ground. The 6 volts were positive ground. And the old 6 volt batteries were fine in their day. Their day is over. A t good modern 12 volt, uh, the, the generators we have today are so much better. And for those that are still using 6 volt generators, I understand you do it because it's original and they did they were cool but they took more servicing and adjusting and I'm taking the easy way out here with a 12 volt system okay now what I did here is I took a 6 volt battery and I changed it around a little bit now let's see if I can get it out of here without it falling apart <coughs> And there it is. Let me bring it around to the other side there so everybody can see it. <coughs> Let me hold it up. Put it on the desk. On the desk? Oh, here? Yeah. yeah, that works. What I did is I cut this out and I cleaned all the guts out of there. All the battery acid and plates and pieces and lead and when I got all done cleaning it, all I had left was a plastic uh, case. And so I made a strap to hold that battery for when I pull it out. This particular battery is not exactly the size of the one I used to have in it. But this one has more amperage. And I like that a lot. Um, this is a really neat battery you can buy at your local hardware store that uh, sells automatic gate mechanisms. Um, and I must say that uh, cameraman Mike, being the builder of our gate system here, he knew all about that. So that's, he got me a battery there. Um, uh, do you remember how many, how many uh, amps it is? Nine amp hours. Yeah, that's, but, but it actually makes more individually. Like, I mean, it really pops off with some juice. It really works well. Now, this won't work, of course, for an electric starter, but it's quite a, quite a battery for our purposes here. Actually, yeah, you're right. That's a... I'll say it's about 14 amps. Yeah. <clears throat> I just don't want to take it out of there. What I did is I connected the, uh, the wires to the inside. Yeah. So they go, so they direct, they bolt directly to these studs here inside the battery mm -hmm. and what a what a neat way to do it because it's here here neat way to do it here uh, tell me tell me i'm cool here yeah. okay it's in one of our videos it is but i wanted to bring it to people's attention again i get concerned that people don't go back and look through our old videos to find stuff that's a shame well what happens is they'll ask they'll write in and they'll ask me about something and i say well gee i did show that and, and so what you want to do is just go to our videos, just, just type in um, YouTube and then Pacific Mike and it'll come up and you can go to the home page off of that. And when you get to the home page, you click on the little word that says videos and they're like five across thumbnails with descriptions of what the videos are. And there's, I think at last count, there's 320 of them. Isn't it a little bit harder on a phone? Everything's a little harder on the phone with the screen's that big. And if you're my age, you can't see any of that okay. stuff. Yeah, no, it is. It's a whole lot easier on a screen. 
You know, I mean, so, you know, you do such a good job, Mike, and I mean this, everybody. I think he does such a good job of showing this stuff close up that we've got we've got viewers out there that 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 play this on big screen TVs in their garage, so they can see the detail of all these mechanical parts that you really it's really hard to see them on a telephone, on a cell phone. Anyway, be that as it may, it's just, you know, I mean, if your girlfriend's got a computer, it's not hard to go to YouTube on any computer. YouTube is so easy. Okay, so I got the, the, the battery out. Let's get back to what we're doing here. <clears throat> and I got my little, I don't even remember the brand of this charger. It's my favorite charger I've ever had. Yeah. It works better than great big ones. Yes, it does. I can't even see the name on it. A kid that worked for me years ago ran over it with his truck, mm -hmm. and I put it back together with electrician's tape. And uh, I, that thing. <laughs> I know we've charged cars with it here, trucks. We've charged everything with it. Yep. And it takes less time than anything else. It, 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 it really is. I, Automatic of some sort. I, I, yeah. I, you know, I don't even remember. I do remember getting it. <laughs> I, I got it at, cust at the Custom Chrome show one year. And, uh, okay, let me tighten up this stud here, this bolt. And I'll get it plugged in. And away we'll go. And I'll fire it up tomorrow. Yeah. If it's not freezing cold. Freezing rain. God. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we got rain and freezing. Mm. That's pretty bad. I mean, Sonia's like an Eskimo, and she came in the house. Is this one hooked to anything now? No. Apparently not. Yeah, well, nothing went off. Lights are still on. <laughs> okay, and there it is. It's probably up enough, but I just want to warm it up good before I... It's on and everything. Mm-hmm. Yep. Nothing amazing. Yep, I think that's good enough for now on this thing. I'm going to let it charge. And hopefully I can get it cleaned up in time. It's not bad. If it's ready to go, I, I want to ride it to the, uh, to the uh, what do you call it show, Paradise Road Show in Palm Springs, which is this weekend. Yeah. I got to be honest, more than anything, I really wanted to talk to everybody because I haven't talked to them in too long. And that's basically what I'm doing right now. And I'm going to go over the, the, the shows real quick. Paradise Road Show, Palm Springs, 2024. When I read it like that, you can probably easily look it up on the computer. Paradise Road Show, Palm Springs, California, 2024. It's at the Ace Hotel at 701 East Palm Canyon Drive. It's a car, hot rod, and motorcycle show. And it's a lot of good old-timey stuff. Yeah, a lot and, more motorcycles than cars. Well, they can fit more of them in. It's a, it's a good show. I think it's only running two days this time. Uh, Friday and Saturday, January 26th and 27th. We will be there on Saturday the 27th. I'm going to do a little survey next. Find out if we want to bring Baby Doll next year. Fine. May bring her this year. I don't know. Okay. And then, of course, on Sunday, which is the 28th of January, next Sunday, is the swap meet, which is the motorcycle swap meet in Long Beach, California. That is the Southern California Cycle Swap Meet, Sunday, January 28th at Veteran Stadium from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. And he wants to say rain or shine. Let me stop. <laughs> rain or shine. Good. Thank you. Okay. That takes care of that one. The other one, which is big and we're going to have a ball, all of us, is Chopper Fest 2024. Sunday, February 11th, and I will mention that as many chances as I get because last year I got to see so many old friends there, and, and I don't want to miss that. Absolute favorite. Well, I wouldn't want to say that because that's like playing something else down, I think. I don't want to play anything down. My absolute favorite. There you go. You can do that. I don't show favorites <laughs> except motorcycles. Mine are my favorites. Two shows I look for every year, and that's one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Chopper Fest is really, really great. It's a tribute to David Mann. And of course, this year there will be a lot of tribute to David Hansen. Now, that, was, uh, that show was kind of his brainchild. Mm -hmm. And he helped put that together. 
And, you know, um, we lost Dave, that's Huggy Bear from Ventura, from the shop in Ventura, who was a friend of mine for uh, <laughs> about 35 years anyway. I mean, we were good friends, and, and I certainly am sorry he's gone. Yeah. Anyway, um, but there will be a lot of mention of him at this show. You know, he put all, he put so many shows on at the Ventura Fairgrounds. And as for places to go, one of my all-time favorite places to go is the Ventura Fairgrounds. It's such a nice setting for a, for a show. Yep. Now, they got room for everything, and the guys are always putting on shows there so they know exactly what they're doing. You know exactly where to go and what to do. A lot of different things to see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a fun one. So that's going on. And that is, again, that's Chopper Fest 2024, Sunday, February 11th. That's the kind of show that people fly in from out of state and everywhere for. It's a really, it's a good one. I, I, I've had this bike in one of the first, I mean, they've been doing it for years now, probably 15 years or more. And, and we put this knucklehead in it right after I finished restoring it and it won best old school scooter at that show so I'm rather proud of her too anyway so that takes care of that I think everything else is covered I don't think there's anything else I need to go over I need to clean this up real good um, oh somebody wrote into the comment section and said hey you showed us how to put that uh, 45 brake pedal, which I've got one out being chromed for this bike right here. And, there, and when I showed to put a, a spacer on there for that tab on the brake pedal to rest against, yeah. somebody wrote in and said, well, you showed it to us. You didn't give us a part number on the spacer. So whichever winder that is out there, I want oh. you to... I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to say that. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't say that. I'm a whiner, man. I'm cold. <laughs> anyway, the spacer part number, if you go to Ted Cycle, V Twin in New York, 37-017 um, for the spacer, and it measures 25 64 by 1 inch by half an inch, which means that's the whole size is 25 64 Half an inch is the, the width of this thing, and one inch is the diameter. And I didn't mean to call you a whiner, really. I'm the whiner here, okay? Thank you. And that's about it, okay? Uh, friends? Pardon? Friends shop? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We have a shop about to open up not too far from here. Um, it's, it's in one of the other towns around here, but it's in Southern California, and we'll probably show the grand opening. Um, I've been talking to the boys who are putting it together, but a couple of really good buddies of mine are, are uh, opening their own shop here. So we'll have more on that later. Yeah. And, uh, and although, if you're at Chopper Fest, I know I'll be there probably. We'll be all together, and I'm expecting them to go. They said they'd be there, so come out to Chopper Fest and meet them yourself. So until then, we'll see you out on the road.